What's going on guys? This is Burrs here to talk to you today about the Black Rock Gear Down Hat Cap, uh, whatever you want to call it there. This is a really cool cap. I've used it many times since I've gotten it. It's super light and that's its basic, that's basically what it's for. It's for super lightweight, super compact, and super warm. Now, basically this weighs under an ounce. This is around 20 grams to 23 grams is how much it weighs. You know, if you're doing some backpacking and you want to save some weight on headgear that you're using for basically a hat or a cap, this is definitely some way I would, I would turn to look at this. Now I've used many different hats throughout the years. I've used some surplus wool hats, which are actually my favorite, definitely heavier. I recently also got this hat from Cat over at Mountain Goat gear I think or mountain goat mountain gear I forget what the name is um, but you know I got this alpaca wool hat which is light but this is just a whole other category this is amazingly light it's filled with 900 FP which is fill power which is basically how much air can be trapped within a I think cubic inch or square inch I forget the exact calculation and it's basically the higher the number the more air um, can be trapped basically to keep you warm now this hat in particular actually has a 15 denier DWR coated uh, outside shell here which is basically going to keep the weather off you as well. So if you're in the winter time snow, if you're in the spring fall time with some, some rain and sleet, definitely have no problem whatsoever using this hat. On the inside here is an antimicrobial dry line band which actually is slightly stretchy as you can see here. And the feel of this hat is really incredible. It, you know, this one actually fits, you know, pretty much down to my brow, maybe a little bit lower. And the, the construction of it is very well uh, done. It's made in America, you know, by um, a company that really pays attention to detail. They really try to get the best stuff out there. They have a bunch of different hats, actually, besides this one, which do different things with being, you know, more weather resistant or warmer. Even they have some that are even lighter than this, which is amazing. But, you know, overall, you really can't go, you know, bad when you're going with a goose down that is inside of a weather-resistant shell. Now, when you're looking at the thread, um, it says that there is uh, some Gutterman polyester thread. Honestly, I'm not really sure about that, but it sounds really cool. So let's take a closer look here at this. I'll go ahead and move this to the side. You can take a look at the threading, which is excellent. Really take care in what they do there. At Black Rock, you can see on the inside here, you know, how they're putting this together. It's a very comfortable hat. You can see the inside is kind of uh, that smooth, silky material as well. Here's that antimicrobial dry line um, headband, which actually wicks away the sweat, which I've found to be extremely well. You know, I can wear this hat e even in warmer conditions, and I really don't notice a problem with, you know, sweat or anything like that. You can see it forms a real nice shell. You can see here on the inside the stitching. That's done. It's done very well. You know, well stitched, lots of time taken. The one thing that I have noticed is the attention to detail. You know, everything is done um, geometrically correct, okay? You're looking at squares on this panel, which are pretty much perfect. You're looking at, you know, great stitching. Even, you know, here you can see on the top, you know, perfect geometrically. You know, it's a really, really nice piece of gear, and for the money that you're spending, um, I would hope it would be, and it is. But the other thing that this does, which is incredible, is the, how small it actually packs up. You can take this and really compact it down once you get the once you get the air out of it to basically the size. Um, I don't really know what size that would be, but you know, you can fit it within your hand pretty easily. Um, and then once you get it out, and the air gets in there, and you put it on your head. The air starts to get trapped in there, and the warmth really um, is noticeable. I usually wear this when I'm outside. Um, you know, I haven't had it in the winter yet. I have no doubt it's going to work in the winter. You know, I've had it here probably late winter, early spring, up until now. And I really noticed in the mornings and at nighttime, you know, I'll wear this to keep my head warm um, while I'm sleeping. And then in the morning until, you know, it starts to warm up, I'll, I'll wear this. And I really like it a lot. But, you know, as far as going through hats and stuff, if you're really looking to get rid of some weight with something that you need, and something you need out in the wilderness is a hat of some sort. You know, here's another one here. But I'm telling you, this weighs nothing. I feel weight with this. I feel nothing with this, you know. So if you're looking for saving weight 
and getting something that is weather resistant, compact, and um, d definitely durable. Uh, I would definitely look at Black Rock gear. Like I said, they have a couple different ones out there. Um, this is their classic line, and they have a couple different sizes available, but I really like this one a lot. If you're looking at it, it's around the $60 range, and you're going to pay a little bit more because you're getting a custom-made thing, which is also something that is you know, using goose down and pretty much top-notch materials. So if you're looking to save weight and have something that's going to last a really long time, check them out over there. Black Rock Gear, they make some vests and some mittens as well made out of uh, Cuban uh, fabric, which is pretty interesting in and of itself. So uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know. If you have hats and stuff or you've worked with Black Rock Gear before, go ahead and put in the comments or even better yet, do a video response. And until next time, later.